morning kindergarten. Today is our first day of e-learning, which stands for electronic learning, which means you're gonna be learning maybe on a tablet, maybe on an iPad, maybe on a computer, some type of electronic, you're gonna be learning still. And this is so great that we can do this. Now, I'm here in Justin's office. I Right now my kids are outside, so I figured this would be the best time to make some videos. And maybe one day I'll, Cam says he wants me to do a video from her, his room, so maybe one day I'll do that. And Benny, mm, he might share his room if he's it's not nap time, then I could go in there. But we are gonna start our morning meeting. All right, here we go. Good morning. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. We have PE today. What? How can we have PE today, you might be wondering. Well, all the specialist teachers, Miss Mundelli, Mrs. Scoblin, Mrs. Frisbee, and Mr. Radent have sent you jobs too. So today is our PE day which is perfect because today is gonna to be a really nice day out. It might be partly cloudy, but it's gonna feel really warm. And so you'll be able, maybe you'll be able to do your PE activities inside, or maybe you'll get to go outside and do them. Depends what your mom and dad say because they are the boss. Now, I sent your parents your PE jobs for the day so they can share those with you sometime today. Um, and tomorrow, we will probably have music. I kind of get to pick which order I go in. So I think tomorrow I'm feeling music. All right, let's finish the rest of our message. So today it says, what is a living thing? We are starting a whole new unit and we are starting a unit on living things. So I want you to take a minute and I want you to think, what is a living thing? Think of anything that's a living thing. Now I can't have you I can't have you tell me because you can't talk back to me, but I'm gonna tell you some things that all living things have or that they need to have in order to be living. The first thing they need is nutrients. Nutrients is kind of a fancy word for food, but all living things need nutrients. We get our nutrients from the food that we eat. Nutrients, okay? The next thing that all living things have in common is they all move. Move. Now this is kind of easy. I'm gonna tell you one living thing is a cheetah. And we know how cheetahs move. But I'm gonna tell you another living thing is a tree. How do trees move? I want you to think about that. Think if you can think of how do trees move? And because that answer kind of goes along with the next thing that all living things have in common, and that is that they grow. All living things grow. Maybe they get wider, maybe they get taller, but they all have to grow. So those are the three things that we're gonna focus on that all living things have in common. They need nutrients, they move, and they grow. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple examples. Let's think of people. Are people living things? You can say yes or no right now. Do we need nutrients? Food, yep. Do we move? Yep. Do we grow? Yep. We are living things. Now let's talk about a tree. A tree, nutrients. It gets its nutrients from its roots in the ground. Its water and its um, food are collected through the roots and carried up through the tree. But move, how does a tree move. Think about that. And I'm kind of going to tell you, it moves by growing. As a tree, you can't see it and it's super slow, but as it gets bigger, it's moving. 
its roots are stretching underneath the soil and the grass, and it's also growing at the same time. Mm -hmm. So with this unit is usually when we get our eggs. Now we were scheduled to get our eggs delivered to Pinewood, I think tomorrow on Tuesday. And oh, well, we're not at Pinewood. So I was thinking, what can we do? Oh my goodness. Thankfully, there's a parent out there who is on top of it and is working on getting some eggs for our class. I have my incubator home. Cam has already decided he wants the incubator in his room. And you might be wondering, what's an incubator? And when the time comes, I will show you the incubator. I will teach you about it. But we will still be hatching chicks, okay? That's kind of one of the things that we use to teach you all about living things, okay? And so to start off our unit on living things, we are gonna read our first story. I'm gonna grab it. I'm not gonna start it yet in our morning meeting, but after this video, we'll have our literacy, and that's when I'll read it in. But the book we're gonna be reading today is called Chicken Big, and it is by Keith Graves, okay? And this is a fiction book, which means it is not real. Um, it's at, All the drawings are cartoons. They are not real pictures of chicks. I believe the chicks talk, which we know is not real. Um, but it's kind of going to get our brains thinking about chicks and chickens and also living things. All right. I hope you're having a good morning or afternoon. Could be afternoon when you're watching this. I miss you all. I wish we were at Pinewood, but this is the next best thing that we get to be doing this online and you still get to see me, okay? And if you want, I told your parents, we can still schedule our Zoom calls and we, you and me can still find time that we can still talk or chit chat because you know I love to chit chat. All right, we'll see you later.